Okay, in this video we want to talk about monopolies. Uh, let's review monopolies here. Remember there are three kinds of monopolies. A one-price monopoly, a multi-price monopoly where you can do price discrimination, and then a two-price monopoly where you use coupons. Um, under a, uh, first of all, if we're dealing with a perfect competition, we know that uh, your price is going to be set by the last buyer, and in this case your profits are going to be very low. And if you can move to a monopoly where you own the demand curve or you have market power over that demand curve, you can set your own price. In this case, we determine that the uh, profits are maximized at a price of 36 and a quantity of 3. So my profits are represented by those three green areas, and that would total about 21 reals. Now, the uh, second thing that we looked at is a monopoly with price discrimination where we're able to, pro to set the price for each customer differently. Remember, this is difficult to do um, because you've got to be able to erect a barrier between each buyer so they can't buy and sell the product, um, and hopefully they don't know that you're charging a different price. Uh, this is very hard to do, so you have to go back to this idea of uh, monopoly with one price. So we go back to monopoly with one price, but uh, the problem there is we're looking at those three other potential buyers that no longer can pay the 36, but would be willing to pay you more than your marginal cost of 29. So how do we get those to come to the table? Well, the one way that we could do that is we could offer a coupon that they have to be eligible for. They have to step through a hurdle or over a hurdle in order to get to. Now, uh, if we could do that, we could actually maximize our profits with two prices by offering a coupon, in this case, of four reals. So you'd pick up those two additional buyers. You wouldn't get all three of the buyers, but you would get at least two, and you would be able to increase your profits by um, adding another six uh, reals to the profit. Once again, you would have two prices, and the, those who are eligible for the coupon would have to um, overcome some kind of a hurdle. They would have to show their student ID or be a certain age or uh, something that uh, allows you to uh, discriminate between the buyers that value your product highly and those who, um, for whatever reason, can't uh, pay the price that the higher buyers are willing to pay. All right, remember, monopoly, there are three different kinds of monopoly, a one-price monopoly, a multi-price discrimination uh, monopolist, and a two-price monopoly, monopolist that uses coupons.